Fear yeah. lack of what we know. God is always present. Yes. Yes.
This might be our last time. We don't know. But we're going to give you all the praises right now. Let's just quiet. Praise they sing down Zion. So the ushers, let's see officers and members of this church. Young and old. Yes. Jesus, man, we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
It shall be when the Lord thy God shall have brought thee to the land which he swear unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give thee great and goodly cities which thou buildest not, and houses full of all good things which thou fillest not, and wells big which thou diggest not, vineyards and olive trees which thou plantest not, and thou shalt have eaten and be full. Then beware, lest thou forget the Lord, well. which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. I'm going to talk about don't forget to remember the Lord. Your God. Don't forget to remember the Lord your God. Can you say it with me? Don't forget, don't forget to remember. To remember.
He provided for them. He made a way for them. Mm -hmm. Everything that was needed for their protection and for their physical well-being, he provided. Yeah. When they were afraid and nervous and tense, when they were apprehensive and uncertain, the great I Am was there to yeah. protect them. Great he went before them as a pillar of cloud by day. Come on, yes. Yes. As a pillar of fire by night. Yes. Yes. It was dark on the Egyptian side, yep. but light on the Hebrew side. Yes. Yes. One writer suggested that the purpose of the cloud in the day was to provide a sense of shade from the hot desert sun mm -hmm. in the daytime. That's right. And that the pillar of fire by night was to give them warmth and light during the cold nights as they traveled in the desert. He uh, yes. not only saved them, but he preserved them. And right away, one of the Psalms of David fits right here. Okay. Where David said, the Lord is my light yes. and my yes. salvation. Yep. Whom shall I fear? Yes. The Lord is the strength of my life. Yes. Whom yes. shall I be afraid? Yes. God performed miracles. He yes. showed himself faithful in every way. Pastor, Everything they could ever desire. God met their need. Oh, God. Even when they angered him in the wilderness by fashioning a calf yes, that was made out of gold. He, yes, he was angry with them, yeah. but out of love and kindness forgave them yes. of their foolishness. Yeah. Many of them died in the wilderness, but yes. God kept his word and provided for them who would obey him. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. God's been good to them. Yep. Yes. He's been a shelter. Yes. He's been a strong child. Yes. He's been a friend. Yeah. He's been a father. Well, he's been a leader. Yes. He's been a deliverer. Yes. He's been a guide. He's been, he's been. He's been a rescuer. Yeah. And everything they could want and everything they could need, the great I am yep. provided for them. Yep. Yes. And now they're about to come upon houses that they did not build. That's yes. right. And upon vineyards right. that they had not planted. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that they had nothing to do with. That's right. And Moses said, when you get to where you're going, you get to where you're going. the danger is you're going to eat and be full. Yes. Yes. And in that moment, you're going to forget. Yes. Brothers and sisters, I think there's a parallel with us today. Come on, right. Right. Come on, God right. has kept us yes. 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 through yes. danger yes. seen yes. and unseen. Yes. And, and for some reason, some people have yes, this disease called spiritual dementia. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Some of us have been zigzagging here and there. Zigzag. Coming through ups and downs. Yeah. Weeping and rejoicing. Good days and bad days. Yeah. Laughing on Monday yeah. and crying on Tuesday. Yeah. For many of us, just these first few months of the year, has been a challenge. I can hear that from what's yeah. 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 Clinically dead. Yeah. Well, well. And the Lord right. kept me from transitioning into eternity. Yeah. 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 I know he brought me. Yeah. Uh, some some near-death you know experience you know where his grace and mercy <laughs> gave me another chance. <laughs> that have come upon us and in our lives that were unexpected. Yeah. Yeah. But through all of that, through all of it, God has been good. Watch out, Pastor. Yes. Yes. now. God has kept us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's never left us. Yes, sir. He, he's been right there when yes. we needed him. Yes, His hand provided for us. Yes. Whenever we got tired, oh, yes. he gave us strength. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Whenever we got weary, he yes. was right there to pick up the load. Yes. Whenever there were tears in our eyes, yes, he reminded us that weeping may endure for night. Yes, but just wait till the morning. Yes. Because joy yes, come in the morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When our enemies thought they had gotten the upper hand, the Lord came right there yes, to yes. rescue us from trouble. Yes. Somebody here can testify if it had not been for the Lord who was in my January, February, and Hallelujah. I don't know where I'll be. I can testify that even these through months, he's brought me through all of them. Yes, but, but now, the danger is, when you get almost to where you're going, yeah. it's easy Come to on, preacher. 
notice, if you will, the older we get, we seem to drift further and further away from the way our ancestors raised us. And, and it looks like we have passed on this drifting mentality to our children. Yes, sir. Yes. That's not these children's fault, but nobody raised them. Yeah. Nobody's teaching them. So, so, so they're not a lost generation. They are a left generation. Yeah. Yeah. We got these little catchy slogans, no child left behind. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. But many of us are guilty of abandoning. Yeah. We've left parenting to them. Yeah. We've left them uh, giving them no direction and guidance. And so they're on their own. So it's hard to blame them when they don't have any sense uh, because we have contributed to their spiritual deficit. We have subtracted instead of adding. We have divided instead of multiplying. And now they're operating with a spiritual deficit. Yes, sir. They're in the hole spiritually. You know what I mean when you're in the hole. You, you're in the red. Yeah. You need somebody to make a deposit in your yeah. heart. Yeah. Because every day you're overdrawn. Yes, they charge you 35 and 40 and 50 dollars. Yes, and soon they'll close the account yeah. and send your record to the collection agency uh -huh. to do further damage to your credit Come report. On, Kids these days don't have any values that the parents taught us in our day. No. We were raised to pull out the chair when the lady's about to sit down. Yes. Open the car door for the lady. Yes. Say yes, ma'am, and no, yes. sir. Yes. If somebody gives you something, say thank you yes. or I appreciate it. Yes. If you ask for something, say please. Yes. But these children today yes. uh, have none of the values we were raised to. Yes. Uh, because we have a generation that's growing up now that nobody's training. Yeah. A recent study revealed that 90% of the black male prison population in the U.S. have never attended church or Sunday school. Mm -hmm. And for the most part today, our children aren't attending either. Uh -huh. And one of the reasons they don't come to church is because we ask them if they're coming yeah. instead of telling them that they're coming. Yeah. We give them too many options. Yeah. And oftentimes they'll tell you, no, I'm not going today. Come on, Pastor. I can't even imagine telling my dad and mom, I ain't going today. Yes, yes, yes. Dad talking about, get up. Yeah. You know, mom talking about, get out of that bed. I thought, yeah. oh, I ain't going today. Yeah. You never would have met me. You know what I mean? Lisa used to have a little brother, but he got killed when he was nine, talking back to his parents. <laughs> Shot him with a double barrel. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you know, it's okay to spank a child. Yes, we didn't have time. The only timeouts we had was on the basketball court and football. No, 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 no. Timeout. We're no timeout at home. No. You do what you were told or suffer the consequences. Yes. When you spare the rock, you spoil the child. Yes. So everybody tell me, oh, don't hit my child. That's what the problem is. And your child becomes a terror to you. Yeah. You are a victim of your own disobedience and you're afraid of your own child because you protected that child from being corrected when the child was young. I'm just being Nobody Nobody is raising children to fear the Lord. Nobody is, is training them to remember the Lord. And as a consequence, they have no awareness of the presence of God. Yeah, yeah. You can't expect this generation to come to church and shout because their mom and daddies are in the bed on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. And in some cases, mom and daddy ain't even married. Now that's another sermon on my sermon. So unfortunately, it becomes the responsibility of the grandparents yeah. who are tired, yeah. who've already raised their children. Yeah. They don't feel like raising another family, but they, they do it anyway because they know the value of remembering the goodness of God. Yeah. Yeah. And if it wasn't for grandparents and the church, they would never know what it is about the God who has kept us all these years. Yes, sir. The God who has redeemed us. Yeah. It is God who brought us to where we are. And when, when God brings you, you ought to say thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You ought to say much of lies. But, but tragically, I feel sorry for this generation because they're growing up without God. Oh, yes. Growing up without Christ. Growing up without any connections to the community, the family 
or the church. If you're above 40, you remember how it used to be? Anybody in the community could raise you. You remember anybody in the community could stop you from doing wrong. Never yes, shall forget uh, Annie Malone, Diane's mom. I get to cut that boy. Boy, you know she used to talk. Send me home in a minute. I didn't want her. I, I, okay, don't tell. You know, I'm begging it off. But people in the community watch yeah. over yeah. each other. Yeah. And we don't have that anymore. No, 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 no. They, they could chastise you and get you straight on the spot yeah. without your parents getting angry. Yeah. Uh, then you got home and you got it again. Yeah. <laughs> Hillary Clinton didn't come up with this. It takes a village to raise a child. She don't know nothing about no village. No. <laughs> We always lived in a village right. where everybody took care of everybody. Yeah. Everybody prayed for and looked after everybody else. Yeah. But now we have arrived at houses that we didn't build. Vineyards that we have not planted. Well that we have not done. And our trouble is not doing without. Our trouble is learning how to live with too much. Yeah. Have you noticed that children are no longer excited at Christmas? Because they've got too much already. Yeah. When I was a boy, I, I couldn't wait for Christmas. Yeah. No, so we got, we were happy to get it. Yeah. Yeah. Because most of the stuff we had, clothes-wise, was hand-me-down yeah. from the relatives in the Minden Hall. Look at God. I'm wearing Paul Minden Hall suits yeah. when I was a teenager. Yeah. Put on new yeah. clothes. Yeah. Uh, stuff from the Goodwill, like yeah. the Salvation yeah. Army, a yeah. pair of shoes cost 25 and 30 cents. All right. That's what I'm wearing. Yeah. Yeah. That's one reason I like shoes now. I have too many. Don't say that now. Because coming up, I didn't have shoes. I used to literally walk on the ground because there were holes in my soul. Say it. Say it. I'm going to get it. But, but kids these days, they, they open packages and set them aside because yeah. they got that in June. Yeah. They got the other in September. They got this in October. Yeah. Because uh, they're not excited and they don't appreciate it because they didn't work for it. Yeah. Yeah. And anybody who gets their hands on too much too soon will usually have no appreciation for what they've been doing. Yeah. Because when you don't work for it, you're not grateful for it. Yeah. People have died and scraped and struggled to get us to where we are now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there are some that have shed blood that we might vote yes. and then we don't even vote. Yeah. We haven't always been where we are right now. It's the Lord who brought us. Yes, who would have thought in 2008 and 2012 that a son of slaves would stand on the steps of a house that was built by slaves yes. to take the oath of office for the most powerful office in the world. He's come and gone now, unfortunately. But we have a God who has always kept us before us. Before there was a Barack Obama, there was a Jesus Christ. Yes. Before there was a Democrat or Republican, there was the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes. Providing for us and yes. making a way for us. Yes. That's reason enough to praise his name. Yes. Moses is about to give his valid 